What are you investing in? Is the question. What are you investing in? I think a lot of people, me and definitely invest in relationships. I think that's probably where the biggest part of our investment goes in our business right now. We could say land, but I think primarily we, uh, we, we give a lot of our cash to our people and, on, and to our business contacts and to our friends, our network. Lenders. Yeah, lenders. We make sure that a lot of the, the cash that is, is spread out to the people that make it all possible. And I don't, I don't know if that's ever been done before the way that we're doing it. I think, I think it has, but I think a lot of people miss it. They miss, they miss that the opportunity. Opportunity, the opportunity or they don't understand why they're kind of stuck in the rut. Because you got, you got to invest in your relationships as a whole. So yeah, all of his life he's put in so much work that and put other people before himself that he's kind of let his health get a little bit behind him. So you know, I was gonna come by myself. I felt guilty. I'm like, I need my my people here. I need like, who are the most the people that I need here to not die to be in the best shape of their life, right? So uh, I'm glad that I brought these guys and I got a chance to experience this all together. Uh, it's been very rewarding. But that was us making an investment into ourselves and into our people to make sure that hey, even even our money lenders, like the people that trust us with their you know, their life. Yep. And where, hey, I'm protecting your money, I'm protecting your assets by taking care of myself, like at the highest level that you can possibly find. There's nothing higher than this that I know of. Yeah. Um, you gotta invest in your team too. So one thing I, I like is that uh, we, we had seen Trade on the podcast a couple of times and he he encourages sales teams to and encourages at businesses to invest in their sales team because that's the life of your business. That's where organizations like Steve Train's uh, sales psychology stuff is he, he, he'll devote the time to devote time to your sales team. So you got to educate, 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 um, and inspire your, your team around you to do great things. So one thing we did this year is we had, a, we hired a new acquisition, we hired a new acquisition person. What did we send them? We sent them to Phoenix to learn <laughs> how, to, how to raise money. First things first, what's, what's the most important thing? How to raise money. So like, we're always finding a way to spend on our team, to put money into our team, to give back to our team. Um, taking care of those people and then you wonder why you know there's there's loyalty there's a, a sea of people out there now that are loyal that are helping that are contributing that are putting their own time and energy and money into this but like we don't have to check on them we don't have to check like hey can you send me what you logged in yesterday and the hours you did like hey it's just there it's, it's coming back so i think something that uh, a lot of investors out there aren't doing is considering that like hey if it doesn't make sense for my bottom line based on the spreadsheet i'm not, it's not a good decision yep but at us, like, of course we have that going, but we're also saying, hey, let's allocate a large amount of, of, of resources to these people over here that are making this thing happen. And I think I think it's you as, a, as the owner or co-owner to make sure you allocate funds for that. Like, yeah, we can use the funds somewhere else, but you got to allocate funds for your team's education. You got to allocate funds for... Yeah, wherever our guys needed a car, boom, we put the down payment on his car. Like, you know, people just reach out and they say, hey, I need a little something. I didn't even notice. Mike, Mike told me that he got a new computer. New computer. Courtesy of Hydemite. He needed a computer. I saw him. We, we went to a meeting and I saw a crack on his windshield. I'm like, get your windshield replaced. Done. Yep. So I saw him driving with a blue tape a couple of days later. Like, we just take care of our people. We try to make room for it. And, um, you know, I feel like it's coming back. It, it's, a, it's a dangerous game because you have to balance it because you can't overspend. But you need to spend something. It, but I don't know, it should be like in your budget. You should have a budget. Like, here, this is this is like 5%, 10%. This is like the bless the team money. Mm -hmm. because you need it and then when you help somebody out when they're down and out that's how you buy loyalty yeah and now people know like hey i'm pre pretty good walking in these people's shadow this person's shadow because if i fall i know for a chance they're, they're probably going to pick me up like the way they did before yep and we have people on our team that they don't even have ad spend money right and we're helping them with ad spend money like we want them to win all coming we're really contributing into our people like literally out of our pocket and then like you said hey we got our own bills we have our own responsibilities but it is worth it to to invest into your people into your team because that's how I think a company gets exponential without you having to incur too much risk, right? So like you get 20 flip houses, that's a lot of risk. It's a lot of capital to flip those yep. things, right? So the way that we split up our risk is there's a lot, awful lot of people pulling in the same direction as us based on the relationships that we built before today. That's about investing in your students or investing in your surroundings, the people around you. Um, I think I think we, we brought on a lot of friends and family into the business. We, we The students that stick around, they're bringing deals and they can make it on the team. We'll bring them on as a team, but they're they're cutting their teeth while they still have their nine to five job, or if they're a stay at home parent. Um, we've had a few of those, but there's a lot of opportunity that we're willing to invest in them too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think what and the reason I think the biggest reason why we do that is me and you didn't know shit <laughs> at one point, um, and somebody invested in us. It might have been an hour phone call. It might have been 
uh, a lunch. We went to lunch and shook hands and broke bread with somebody. But there's a lot of investment that created us. So you got to return that investment. I think that's why it's part of our culture now. It's part of who we are as people, I think, and it, it rubbed off into the culture. Mm-hmm. Is that, hey, if somebody gives us something, then we should, and we have it to give now, we should probably share it with somebody else. Yeah. Just to be a good friend, to be a good human being, to be a good person. And then, of course, that, that was well, that was us being us, but then it turned into this amazing community of these awesome yeah. people. And community. Now people want to be here. They want to help. They want to serve. And we're like, well, damn, well, then if they're going to be here helping us, serving and what can we do to serve them? What can we do to help them back? So yep. we're always trying to find a way to give back, to make something happen, to to push forward for other people. Yeah, I, I think it's a it's a big missed opportunity for. I always think about we. I think we have really have a great business and a business model, but I always think of like people that don't have this. It's tough, bro. Listen, real estate is probably one of the toughest spaces to make it in. Lots of companies fail. Real estate agents fail. I see them struggling every day on Facebook. Friends of mine. I mean, we saw, we probably we saw a lot of turnover during COVID with wholesalers. Mm-hmm. A lot of like, wholesalers had to go back to work. They had to go back to work. Um, it's, it's just it's insane. So, I think a lot of people they you're not investing in the right things. I don't know. Yep. Don't forget what's on your spreadsheet. Don't forget to grow your revenue. Don't forget to to grow your company. But I think you got to pay attention to what what is the most important part. What are you trying to grow? What are you investing in? Are you gonna have like oh you're gonna be the guy with a thousand doors and has no friends? Or you're gonna be the guy with you know that owns fifty rentals but you worked your whole life away. Right, you forgot to invest into the people around you. There's going to be a high retreat in the future overseas with like 100 people there. Mm-hmm. Costa Rica, <laughs> islands. I mean, that's some good stuff going. It's, it's going to be crazy. But I'm, I'm excited for people here maybe watching this. It could be you. It could be all of our richest friends that we made rich. That we made rich. <laughs> so, th- well, this is a great point. If you uh, check out Kevin Hart, I love Kevin Hart. He did a, um, he did like a behind the scenes special. I don't even know what it was called. But, um, He's been doing comedy for so long, but literally his best friends are now part of the business. Mm-hmm. And they, hired they, them all. they do, he hired them all, everybody. So he literally works with his best friends every day because they're a part of his business and his, his, uh, his, his entity. I think that's where we're at right now. I yeah. mean, we have a lot of good people around us that are really good friends that really have our best interests in mind outside of business. Yeah. So we built that, we built a hell of a team right now. Like, uh, one of, one of his friends is like, a like a, his, his personal trainer. And he's like, uh, I, I I don't know the video. Somebody can comment below and tell me what video it is. I can't even remember. But he goes, he meets him at the gym like at 5 a.m. every morning. And uh, he shows up and like, dude, you're fucking late. Where the fuck are you? And he's yelling at him. I'm like, I'm here. I showed up. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> like, he's there motivating him to keep his, keep his body healthy, you mm-hmm. know? And it's a, it's a responsibility that you need, you need those people in your corner. You need those people in your corner to, because they really want the best for you. And you get, yeah, if you have a big enough, opportunity you have an opportunity to defeat everybody around you well look at me you and mikey like how would you guys have ever have found this place never right and then never. also we've been doing that spa day every other tuesday like trying to take our leaders and our winners to to go relax get a massage and you know, calm your mind down because we really believe in it we really believe that people that are putting in the, the work with us like we want them to be okay like it's not just like hey i paid you i already gave you what you came for too bad now yeah it's like no beyond that i want you to get paid but i also want you to be here for a long time with your kids and your wife and that kind of stuff so we really do care about our people man and that's something that i don't think it's normal in real estate yeah to that extent anyway yeah and there's there's tons of different ways to think about it but hopefully it opens your mind to to invest in your people and, and the people around you and really take them to the next level because that's that's the part where you get exponential growth is when you invest in your people yep what are you investing in what are you investing in Go like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you have any deals you'd like to submit to the Hive Mind and our team, go to hivebc.io. It's actually the Hive Buyers Club. Submit your deals, and we can hopefully dispel your deal for you. Have a great day.